G'day, it's Aaron here from Mayfair Plumbing. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about these uh, rubber boots or Aussie connectors, uh, flexible joiners. Uh, they come in a variety of different names. These guys call it the flexible coupling. And this is the 90 mil one I'm holding up in front of you today, typically used for stormwater drains. So what situation are you gonna need one of these in? Well, you're either gonna have a cracked or broken section of pipe or a block drain where we need to create access into that branch to clear it. So you'd be cutting a section of pipe out and then putting a T piece in or an access point, uh, inspection opening. This is a sewer size, so 100 mil, bit bulkier fitting. And the challenge you're gonna have is you're gonna be cutting this section of pipe out yeah, you're still going to have a section in the ground and another section in the ground that are stuck. So we call that two fixed points. So then how do you get a new piece of pipe in? You can't just glue it in one end and then glue it back the other end because, well, there's two fixed points. There's no flexibility. So that's where uh, these rubber boots come into play, Aussie connectors. So imagine once again... You got your section of pipe in the ground. What you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen these worm clamps off and you're gonna slide this back over the section of drain in the ground. And you're gonna do the same on the other end as well that's in the ground as well. So now what you're looking at is a scenario like this where you've got your two fixed points in the ground and you've got a piece missing in the middle. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your measurement for your piece of pipe perhaps taking into account the fact you've got this T piece as well. So measure the pieces of pipe from here to there and likewise on the other side, glue all that up, prepare that, which you'll see on one of our other videos on how to prepare a watertight glue joint on our YouTube channel. Be sure to check that out. And then once you've then got that piece of pipe plonked in the ground, you're then gonna basically slide this over until you've got half on the existing and half on the new. Now, another little neat trick might be to, you know, put some witness marks on these pieces of pipe. So you're gonna measure the distance from here to halfway and you're gonna transfer that onto the pipe so that you know when you're sliding these rubber boots on exactly that you've got half and half on each section of pipe. And then once you're confident in that, make sure when you're sliding it on that you're leaving uh, these worm clamp screw heads in an accessible location. You don't want them spinning under and going under the pipe. You might not be able to get to them. You want to try and keep them up. And then you'll see they've got the uh, hexagonal head on them. Ideally, that's suited to a ratchet. Just do that up quite tight. Not over tight, but just firm. Or if you don't have access to that, they've also got this little slot in it for a, a flathead screwdriver. So we've been looking at the 90 mil there today, but they also come in a variety of different sizes. These two here are for 100 mil, typically used on sewer drains, but it's becoming more common to see it in stormwater systems. And then you've got a different shape one here as well. So this one here, you'll see, let me get a better angle there, that it's 100 mil PVC on this side, but actually designed to take 100 mil uh, clay pipe or earthenware on the other side. So this might be where we're trying to cut a T-piece uh, junction in to an existing clay drain, but you've got earthenware on one side, earthenware on the other side, and we need to put the PVC in the middle. So that's where these are gonna come in real handy because you'll be able to slide it over the PVC and then once it's in place, wiggle it back on to the earthenware and same procedure again, just nip them up firm, not over tight and away you go. So you might sort of be asking, well, how much am I going to be paying for these type of couplings? So, you know, the smaller, the less it's gonna be. You know, for 90 mil storm water, you may be paying around $20, uh, 100 mil, uh, slightly more. 
These ones with the earthenware adapter on the back, I think you'll see they're a little bit more, again, they're a bit more of a fancier style fitting. But these, uh, you know, Aussie adapters here, this one's by Aztec. Uh, this one's for 63 to 75 mil. So, you know, these are more for um, smaller pipes. They go down to, I think, you know, 40 mil and probably go up to over 300 mil in size. That'd be for more of your commercial use. So yeah, look, if you find yourself in a situation like this, there is a solution to get you out of trouble and see you get the right job done. So if you're liking what you see on our channel, be certain to subscribe and give us a thumbs up on this video.